those of you who have done FMEAs before will probably realize that this form is truncated. There are several other things to the right of this that happen on a standard FMEA. Well, it's just handier if you use the carry forward arrow and split the FMEA in two and call the second half the action plan, which is what you do anyway. So let me call up the action plan. And what's happened here is everything that was carried forward from the FMEA has appeared here. And this is just a laundry list of tasks to be done. Uh, you can check them off as you go. Uh, you've got additional blanks over here to fill out uh, who this was assigned to, what the due date is, and exactly what uh, was accomplished by that. And you also get to do a new RPN because you, count, you enter your new severity, occurrence, and detectability, and Quick Sigma will give you this new RPN. Now, once again, you've got a carry forward arrow. What's that for? Well, that carries things forward to the control plan. So out of a typical project, you may have, oh, I don't know, three to six items that need a formal active control plan and all you do is just set this arrow and it will automatically be carried forward.